What is going on YouTube, Patreon, all my friends out there? How are we doing today? December 31st, New Year's Eve. What's up, man? Anyone doing anything fun tonight? Any, any cool concerts? Any big events? Look at me. I look like a mess. This is what I do when I shoot videos too early. Uh, I woke up to a PayPal request from my friend Kevin, and I appreciate this, man. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. Helps a boy out. It really does. I, and I, I'm really looking forward to this, man. Demi Lovato is a tank. I love watching Demi. I love listening to Demi. Um, their stuff just always gets blocked. Seems like I don't know if any I don't know if I've gotten any on YouTube, so I'm taking a chance here. I was debating doing the transparency thing, but not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm looking forward to this. In case in studio, my friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check me out on Patreon. The links in the description box. I do have a PayPal if you would like, and uh, this one works, so I'm I'm grateful. Um, but I'm from Canada, so maybe send me like a couple links if you're gonna send me the PayPal's, just in case they don't work, right? Um, uh, what else? PayPal's or uh, Patreon's in the description box. Link to our sponsor of the videos in the description box. Shout out to Newer for the beautiful light. My friends, let's do this. I got headphones today. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Pictures in my pocket all faded from the washer. I can barely just make out your face Fold you safe for later In my refrigerator It's been too long since later Never came I know One day eventually Yeah, I know One day I'll have to let it all go But I keep it just in Just in case. Wow, man. In case. Oh, man, she's gonna get into this now, too. Okay, I gotta back it up. I gotta back way up. This is... Like, I don't know why you wanted me to get into this. I don't know if it's the microphone. I don't know if it's because I like talking about microphones. I don't know if it's just because this is like a favorite performance or something I would love to hear, Kevin. Um, but she's singing to my mic, man. She's singing it to a Telefunk U47. These are U87s. These are Neumann U87s. These are stunning microphones, too. I just couldn't afford one of these, so I ended up getting a good deal on a, uh, a warm audio U, uh, warm audio 47. It's like a clone of a, of a U47, but like Beyonce, Prince, man, Frank Zappa, who else sang in the U47s? Everyone, man. I think, um, I am guessing on this one, but I think Sinatra did too, but I love it, man. Having it like a, like a foot away is just like exactly, exactly what you need. Um, a voice like Demi Lovato's too, it's got so much body and texture to it. I think that's something with a tube in it just makes it sound... A tube provides a certain amount of harmonics, and I'll save my real tangent for this for the end, but the tube just has like a certain sound to it that I think that Demi's voice would match. I don't think it matches everyone's voice. I don't think it matches every style of voice, but I do think that Demi would, would suit one, right? I got one for myself because I like how it sounded on my voice. Prince, I mean, like, what are you gonna do? Tell Prince to do wrong, right? Beautiful microphones, man, beautiful microphones. Would you say for later in my refrigerator? It's been too long since later, never came. I know one day eventually, yeah, I know one day I'll have to let it all go, but I keep it just in case. Yeah, I keep it just in case. So one last one, one last one before we get into this. It's it's amazing how much like breath and um like diaph the, her, like support from her diaphragm she's showing right now. You could hear it, right? And she's like she's using vocal compression to really hold it back. So like she's compressing the airflow before it goes over her vocal cords. And it, like I don't want to use like airy because that gets like kind of a bad rap today with like a lot of the artists that are out. But like it has like a breathiness to it, right? But it feels like it's like like an air, air management thing for all my singers out there. You know what I mean? In case you don't find what you're looking for, in case you're missing what you had before, in case you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in case you just want to come home. Strong enough to leave. Great chorus, man. Was that like a half chorus? 
half hook or whatever you want to call it. Um, I like the power. I really like the power. She's got this like dropped like larynx positioning, I think, um, is what gives her that kind of it take or in case, I guess the lyrics, right? Instead of being like more bright and shrill, right? Um, and obviously I'm not singing in the key that she's in. I can't hear myself at all. Um, but I think it's like the power sounded nice. The emotion sounded nice. She had like a couple like breaks like in her voice that like, you know, just drive that emotion. It almost feels like tearful. You know what I mean? She's, she's, Really, she's got to be in the moment, man. She's got to be feeling herself in this moment because this is this is stunning. This whole recording is stunning. Um, piano's broken into two parts, like low register and high register, so that's why there's two mics there. Just just uh, while I got gotcha. you. Come home, strong enough to leave you, but weak enough to need you, kid enough to let you walk away. I took that dirty jacket from the trash right where you left it Cause I couldn't stand to see it go to waste I know one day eventually Yeah, I know one day I'll have to let it all go But I'll keep it just in case Yeah, I keep it just in case bridge now man like this is so moving this is so powerful i'm like uh, i'm kind of fall like i'm following the story enough but like the bits i'm catching are just so poetic so poetic Ugh. Ugh. it's heavy on my heart my friends heavy on my heart uh there's more than two um microphones on the piano but i do think that it's split into low and high um one will just be more percussive because you actually get like the hammers in the u47s instead of the four, uh, sennheiser 421s that are at the back those ones are probably just more for like warmth and sustain and stuff um but like demi's vocal sounds amazing man sounds amazing i'm saying i'm trying to save the majority of that for the end but like whatever whatever it is that she's trying to portray man it's landing it's working right now in case you change your mind i'll be waiting here in case you just want to come home in case you're looking in So from like that, that bridge was beautiful. Bridge was beautiful. The resolve was nice. I love that they're leaning on like the sus four chords for um for in the piano. That's just that's just some of my favorite shit when it comes to like emotion and just things resolving nice and just kind of like the music almost feels like warm to your heart and then the songs like beating you up a little bit. Like it's just it's such nice contrast. But like Demi Lovato singing on top of this man, it's just the placement of it, the voicing of it, the words obviously. But like all these like these runs and stuff like none of this is showing off this is all just texture to this like emotional piece that she's given us you know it's just stunning just stunning you can love me again even if it isn't the case oh, you don't find what you're looking for oh, you're missing my love you wow. don't find what you're looking for in case you're missing what you had before in case you change your mind i'll be waiting here in case you just want to come home in case yeah Great outro. Great outro. 2013? Wow. Oh, man. I'm, like, holding my breath. Like, oof. That was heavy on the old heart. Heavy on the old heart. Um, okay, I gotta pull myself out of this. I gotta pull myself out of this emotional spot I'm in here. <laughs> 
then, like, okay, let's talk about the performance. Performance was just, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Like, the thing about just a piano and just a voice, and I don't mean for this to be, like, symmetrical in my metaphor, but it's lonely. One source and one source is really lonely. So you got to find clever ways of making it sound presentable, right? And there's a lot of like mixing, there's a lot of mastering processing that like can go into that and that stuff. But there's other things you got to do too. You got to split the piano up. You don't want to just hear like one send from the piano. You want to have multiple sends and you want to address them differently. You want to address the low end of the piano differently than the high end of the piano. And you want to give it an opportunity to have the weight and the percuss percussiveness of the, of the actual hammers hitting the strings if you're going to bother using a grand piano like this. Um, so they're putting the Neumann U47s up front where you can hear the hammers. And then I think they had just like basically matched Sennheiser 421s at the back, kind of same positioning, but at the back of the strings sections of the piano. So you get more like resonance, more tone of the, of the wood. Um, and probably for a few reasons, like those microphones aren't going to pick up Demi's voice. They may, they may to an extent, but like being that close to the piano, like it's going to be major, major, major majority piano, right? There's other microphones that you could use like say that U47 that she's singing into, that Demi Lovato's singing into, sorry. Um, you could put that in there on like a like a omni positional pickup and it would pick up the whole room. You would hear m like my voice, you'd hear me tap my foot in the corner, like everything, right? Um, here, one sec, I'll just show you. So this, this microphone, she, Demi Lovato had it like this, right? So when you, there's different settings on the mic. On this one, it's over there. On that mic, it's on the mic. You can have it where it just picks up just right here, right in front, basically post to post. You can have where it picks up front and back, or you can have where it picks up everything, kind of like evenly, right? So as like a dynamic singer, I have found in my own experience that when you have it where it picks up the whole room, it's a lot easier to sing with like just natural um, dynamics loud, quiet, all that stuff. It's way easier than when you have it like on a dynamic setting where it's post to post. And for some reason, I just don't get the same dynamics out of it. And may, like they could have had it set up like that. But what I'm getting at is if you had it on the full round and then stuck this in the piano, you would hear Demi Lovato's voice the whole time as well. Like it's just, it picks up a lot of things. So they, they chose microphones that will only pick up the piano so that they make it sound beautiful and everything. And then of that, yeah, you can see all these boxes down here. Oh, that's so cool. All these mics have different, like these are tube, I can't remember what you call these pickup selectors, essentially. The, these boxes, here, hold on. These boxes down here, I'm really going in on this, my friends. I hope you're hanging out. Um, these boxes down here, these select what the microphone picks up, and it's so cool to actually see them. Usually they're like hidden somewhere, um, but it's neat. It's neat because it's probably like a pr proprietary cable that goes up to the microphone. Um, like on mine, it's like this goofy bunch of pins in there instead of an XLR. So like my cable is only 15 feet. So I have to have the box right beside where I sing, right? Um, but anyway, so that's the piano. And then on Demi Lovato's vocal, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that they had it post to post, like on the cardioid pickup, I guess, the, the dynamic kind of setting. Um, there was a pop filter that was right in front of it and that's just engineer preference. Um, and then about a foot of distance from the, from the source. But like why I appreciate that, why I'm spending so much time on that is because when you have something this emotional, there's, like lyrics only go so far. And this is like top tier. This is top, top, top tier, right? Like the poetry, the writing man pulls at the heartstrings, doesn't it? Doesn't it? But like there's more to it in a voice. Like there's reasons why my voice won't pull the same heartstrings as Demi Lovato's will. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to like shoot myself down. Like I'm a confident guy. It's just like it is what it is. But it, you need to be able to capture those things and translate those things. Otherwise you miss them. And I'm not saying that that's dependent. I'm not saying that you need a nice microphone to sing into because we've all seen the TikToks and the shorts and the Instagram reels of people singing their hearts out and it sounds incredible. But if you're gonna do something like this and if you want it to be perfect, man, like you pick stuff that's gonna bring that stuff out of your voice. So the tube, like it, it has like a breakup to it. It just has like a, a natural chaos to the tube, which adds these like kind of harmonics and overtones that brings out things like grit in your voice or any of the like, um, the, that nasty kind of like breakup stuff or, um, the squeaks and the grit, all that stuff, the breathiness, it really brings that out in the tubes. It's just like, it's got this presence to it, right? And it's also got this analog feel to it where it doesn't feel digital. 
you know? And when you're like these great singers like Demi, Beyonce, these people that don't need auto-tune but can sing in a way that it almost like, it almost sounds like it's being auto-tune just in like how accurate they are with their pitches and there's no blending, it's all quick. Like if it wasn't a microphone like this, if it was something too smooth, it would probably sound more like an effect than a natural voice, right? So there's, there's a lot of things when it comes down to like the recording structure that I think they did a really good job on it. It just makes me really happy because it drove a lot of the emotion and the feel. God, we could go in, we could go right in. These things here, these things here, it's like a little, it's an Avion system. So everyone's headphones would be plugged into this. And then you'd have like banks. You might have like piano low and that's a mix of the two microphones on the low end. The next one might be piano high and it's a mix of the high ones. And then you might have the Demi voice the demi vocal, you might have like a couple room mics, maybe a talkback mic from the engineer and you can pick how much of each you want. If they had a metronome going or anything, you can like pick how much everything you want. Anyways, anyways, my friends, I've stretched this out long enough. God, I've been talking for like six minutes. <laughs> if you've made it this far, my friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Kevin, thank you for the request. Thank you for the support. My friends, happy new year.